as can be expected this is your girl sherry with daily news and the update that's making everybody going ooh la 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 jumping screaming hallelujah oh my god can't believe it thank you jesus all the wonderful things comes on the heels of the cdc lifting their no sale restriction on cruises departing north america and so on many travel related channels you would have already seen that along with the lifting of this no sale order there has been the release of a 40 page document stating the restrictions to sailing so yes everybody's happy everybody is jumping over the moon but there are a few things that we need to pay attention to and a lot of these important tidbits range from cruise lines that had already extended their no sale uh, cessation or their cessation of sailing and just in front of me for example i'm looking at an email that was sent out all the way back in july and this is from princess cruises and it states that princess extends the pause of global ship operations through to december 15th of 2020 and of course this is something that has already been put in motion so i make reference to this i also make reference to the fact that even though sailing will now be permitted under the restrictions the guidelines and most of the guidelines are the ones that we have become accustomed to you know uh, sailing with masks in public spaces having a covid test done and taken with you more than likely to the port of embarkation also the fact that you will be doing some form of a covid test on spot prior to boarding with a rapid return of results so there are going to be so many important steps to take and just following other persons who have been sailing especially out of europe the processes will be may be identical and so having said that also want to speak to the fact that this document this 40 page document also speaks about sailings being seven days or less or no sailing up to seven days and this is a, a stipulation up to 60 days which of course is subject to change but it's also making it clear that November 1, ships are able to sail, but one of the restrictions will be on the length of the sailing. Now, additional to that, even if we weren't to delve into this document, is the fact that cruise lines have just begun getting crew back. So, getting crew back is one thing but getting them back back if that makes any sense so so let's start at the beginning of my thought process crew that might be living in places where the virus still has limitations will experience some amount of challenges routing you know from distant lands to join their vessel for example the joining the vessel up until recently could also be a challenge if these ships were just anchored out at sea just like the operation that we saw with scarlet lady trying to get her crew members off loading them into tenders with suitcases and whatnot not and that was quite a struggle for some people it might be just that now what i want to see happen over the next few days and that is where I would want to bring you footage and information is with the vessels returning into US waters docking at the port in Miami, in Port Everglades, for example, um, Tampa, so on. 
we want to see if when that happens if the crew will be flying into the normal airports connecting to these ports and making a smooth transition to the ship of course to the other thought is the crew as they join as they get into training as they get up to date with the new norms as they get really familiar with the vessels and some of them will be joining that particular ship for the very first time you know it's going to take a few days dare i say weeks to get everything together and of course there has been taught that there might be or maybe there should be sailings to nowhere with just crew putting all of the systems in place checking cross checking doing mock sailings to see how things will work once the passengers come back on board so it's early days very very early days you know and the million dollar question has been asked back and forth speculations have been rife the responses have been yay and nay which basically is what they have to be because nobody else knows what the facts will be until the facts become known that's just the truth but will cruising happen in 2020 sea dream yacht club for example did a sailing that departed um don't want to be wrong on this but it could have been holland somewhere in germany however destined for the bahamas one of those transatlantic types but there was a restriction as to the nationalities of the persons who would sail um costa has her ship sailing of course in europe restrictions again and um MSC has always had the Grandiosa, the Magnifica as well, sailing the Med. And so I point these things out because even when cruising resumes, there's going to be so much adjustment as to even the nationalities allowed on board. So even though I am happy that the CDC has lifted it stops sale order. We know from being on the inside of the industry that this is not a need all, fix all. It's just the beginning of a very long process. I will keep you posted. That's what we're here for. But remember, we would love to hear your comments. So just before you move away from this video, share your comment with us. Tell us what your thoughts are on this new development. Remember, you need to share our videos. Share this one with friends, families, those interested, those who have never cruised, those who are new to cruising. Brilliant time for them to make some purchases for future cruises. And of course, you want to share them out to persons who are considering an engagement party, maybe a graduation celebration, because cruising is still and will still and will always be the most economical way to see the world and this my friends is how i see it today on the daily news